Hello, Captain Moomoo, and today I am at Goitman. Goin- oh, Goitman. I never, I never remember that. It's in Marple, and there is three amazing gated lifts in here, including this first one here. I believe. Well, I don't know what brand this is actually. I'm recording with one hand. I'm recording with one hand and I don't have my tripod with me, so it's quite hard. But anyway, as you can see, it's very old. You can see, I don't know if the camera can see it, but the, the, but the governor rope is up there. Here's the old panel. I can't remember what brand this lift is. And then we can go to one. It's single speed, this. So we were at floor three there. Floor four is locked off. Here's floor two. The scaffolding on this is very interesting. Look, you can see you can see the counterweight going up there. And then, as you can see, there's the governor rope, as always. You can see that there's a locked off floor just there, which means we're approaching floor one. Here we are. The inner doors on this lift are very interesting. There's a lot of electricity stuff that I don't don't know what it does. So I'm not gonna touch it. Here's the call button. As you can see, this has been bolted shut. It'd be a shame if it wasn't reused again. Anyway, should we go back up to um, floor three? Okay, let's just ride it back up. Stop that film. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to stop the film until I get up. Right. As you can see, the lock's been mounted on there. I'll click the button. And boom. Um, it's got quite a smooth startup actually. There's a locked off floor. And here is the cat and here's Catherine Cat. She's quite a lot older since you last since you last saw her. But very interesting panel with a stop button. I'm not gonna hit that because I don't know if it'll completely stop hold it to a stop and not start again. But as you can see, we are approaching floor four. There's a wall and a well no. It was floor three actually, but as you can see, we can get out now. All of the all of the lifts are here have a latch on just like that. I'm sorry if my finger gets in the way because, as I said, I forgot to bring my tripod. Now, anyway, that was the first lift. So anyway, that was the first lift. Now I believe that the second lift is a Marriott and Scott lift. So, I can walk over to it now. I don't know if I worked it that right, but... As you can see, the floor's eroding a bit. But it isn't an abandoned place. There's still a lot of active units. But if you come this way, you will see the other lift. As you can see, here it is. It's got the buttons. Well, actually, it's not a Marriott and Scott. It has similar buttons. It's a J and H. It's a J and H. Lowry, I think you pronounce it. Craners. This is a lift, not a crane. Now, anyway, I'll click call. This is the slowest lift on planet Earth. There we go. It's coming now. This could take a while, so if it takes too long, I'll cut, I'll cut this footage out. Here's Catherine Cat. Here's a Catherine Cat while I'm waiting. As you can see, here's the panel. Floor one, floor two, floor three, floor four, floor five, and floor six. I don't know why that one's labelled three might have just been a mistake but as you can see here it is i believe this has a modified controller oh 
I thought it had gone past us there, but nope. I believe this has Dad, don't open it yet. Um there we go, it stopped leveling. So this has a very interesting cab. All of the next here are interesting and look, you can see right up the shaft. There's the enormous counterweight. But anyway, this has probably had a mod at some time because these are more generic like buttons. Anyway, we'll go to the basement. Have to wait for it to start up, but then, once it does, you'll go down quite slowly. Last time I came here, I remember it being slower than this, actually. You can see the other doors there. Amazing lift this. Anyway, we're coming to our floor. Here it is. Wait, is this the basement or not? Huh. I've last time we were here, the basement wasn't lit up. I don't really want to go into it because it seems like it's a place where we shouldn't be. Okay. Anyway, you'll see that the leveling takes absolutely forever. Here we are. Now, for the purpose of video, I'll just send it up to floor three because this lift will take forever to get to floor six. Here we go. It has quite a long start-up time. I don't know if Marple rocks are a thing, but I know Stockport rocks are a thing, I think. And I believe I saw a Stockport or Marple Rock in a little hole in the shaft somewhere. As you can see. Ah, look, there it is. It's got a nice little rocking or something, I don't know. Let's see if we can see the counterweight. Yep, there it is, going down. There you go. And here we are. The levelling is the levelling is a lot shorter on this one when it goes up. But anyway, here we are again. Now, if you're wondering why it's got these controls here, well, allow me to demonstrate. The floor five button is missing, but we can send it up to floor six from here. Anna. There it goes. Now, anyway, let's move on to the final lift. It's a pa it's a small passenger lift that cannot that, to my knowledge, cannot level at floor two. I'll try to show you what it does at the end of the video. So, anyway, because the walk is so long, I'll cut the video and and um, and I'll start it again when we're there. Let's go. Unfortunately, I don't want to go in this lift because it's a very fast single speed lift. Floor two, the floor two on it seems to have a lot of problems with levelling. The lift is up there, that's the floor. Can't go to floor two. I called it. Oh, pause that. So, did you just press call there, Dad? Okay. So, what happens is. It's at floor one, then it'll go pretty much all the way to the top so you can see the floor out of that window there. When you press call then, then when you press call, then it'll go down for a very short amount of time. And yeah, it does that. Come on. Um, I'll stop it.